Subscribe now for your regular dose of Asian health information. Normally when we see a patient having mercury filling, the first thing we check for is whether there's any um, leakage, whether there's any decay underneath the filling. And in some of these cases where there isn't um, any leakage or decay underneath the mercury filling, okay, it's actually perfectly okay for the patient to leave it alone. Um, some patients, you know, they might have read some information about mercury filling online because at the end of the day, uh, mer uh, amalgam filling actually contains about 50% mercury. So some people, they are actually concerned about the mercury that's found inside the, the filling. And study has actually shown that every time we bite or we chew our food, we grind our teeth, we brush our teeth, okay, it will actually release us a mercury vapor. So mercury vapor is the thing that actually more some patients are actually concerned about. But other than that, you know, by and large, if the mercury filling is um, functioning, there's no decay, it's actually perfectly okay for a patient to actually leave them alone. In the past, you know, when, when in terms of material, we are very limited. We don't, do not have any composite filling. That's a tooth colored filling that we use now, nowadays. In the past, they used to use um, amalgam filling that we mentioned earlier. 50% um, of it actually contain mercury. So those are actually an alloy of metal that actually, um, when, when it's actually placed in the mouth, it will actually harden. And that will actually help to replace um, missing tooth structure that is lost due to decay. Some of the younger patients, they actually have not seen a mercury filling before. So typically, you know, when, when um, someone is of a, of a certain age like me, I used to have some mercury filling. A mercury filling, when, when they smile, it actually look like a black um, looking thing in the mouth. So sometimes if it's a new mercury filling, it might actually look quite shiny, quite silvery and all. Um, but after some time, it loses its shine, it becomes very dark and very dull. So when someone opens the mouth very white, you might actually see this black looking thing on the tooth that sometimes people mistake it for decay actually. So we do have patients that comes in and then they ask us whether we need to change the mercury filling or not. Most of the time we would tell them that, um, look, you know, there's no decay, um, everything looks fine, it's actually okay to keep the mercury filling alone. It's actually possible for mercury filling to have actually decay around it and underneath because in the past with the mercury filling, there's actually no glue or no bond between the mercury material and the tooth. So there's actually microns of gaps that might actually potentially mean that um, bacteria and food might actually get stuck in between and that over long term can actually lead to decay. So basically if there's no decay, it's actually perfectly okay to leave the mercury filling alone. In some of these cases, patients, they might request to have the mercury filling replaced normally for two reasons. The first would be that um, the appearance of it, it bothers them. Sometimes they find that when they smell real white, they can actually see the mercury filling and that kind of gives a certain impression that the teeth are not looking that nice. Or the other reason could be that some of them, they might have read online about the um, mercury toxicity and the harmful effect that it has to the body. So normally these are the two group of people that they might tell us that they actually want to have the mercury filling replaced. So more often than not, when you replace the mercury filling, we'll be using um, either composite resin, um, which is tooth colored, or the other stronger material. In the case where the cavity is pretty big, we actually use a ceramic or even zirconia. So ceramic and zirconia are much stronger material, okay, that can actually help to strengthen the tooth in a certain extent. So these are uh, more biocompatible material. Um, well, with this material, the patient don't have to worry about the uh, mercury toxicity. And these uh, materials, okay, they have been around for many many years now and study has shown that their lifespan are actually equally as strong as mercury filling if not actually even stronger as well. When we talk about replacing a mercury filling, um, the other important aspect that I think that sometimes is um, not given enough emphasis is the fact that um, when we remove the mercury, we are actually exposing more mercury vapour. We are exposing the patient to more mercury vapour than if we have left the mercury filling alone. So one very key thing, very central to our whole process of re uh, mercury replacement is actually to ensure that uh, we replace the mercury safely. So like some of the things that we actually do are to make sure that um, in the process of removing mercury, patients actually don't get exposed to mercury so much. So some of the little things are things that we use a rubber dam. It's like this umbrella that we actually um, cover the tooth with so that in the midst of removing the uh, mercury, 
the mercury vapor actually don't get ingested um, through the nose or get ingested into the mouth. Okay, so the other key thing would be that when we, we also provide patient with their own oxygen supply and we also gown the patient up so that the hair, the body are actually not exposed to any of the mercury vapor that may be present. Um, the other thing is also that when we remove the mercury filling, we also ensure that we use a high volume suction to make sure that the mercury vapor is actually sucked out. And the other thing is also that when we remove the mercury filling, we remove it in, in big chunks so that we minimize the drilling of the process of it. Yeah, so these are little things that we actually do to ensure that the exposure um, to mercury for the patient is kept as little as possible. Subscribe now for your regular dose of Asian health information.